Hi everybody, welcome to Lulu La Vida. And today we're going to fix a beef soup. And we call it caldo de res or cocido. And normally I remember in my childhood when I was in school and if it was a rainy day, I knew that when I got home my mom would have this for us ready. Always, uh, it's not a beef stew, it's actually soup because it's broth, you know. Um, so it's uh, we go to the meat market, you know, and she would buy this thing called chamorro de res. I would, don't know how you say it in English or how you pick it, but it's it it comes uh, with the bone. It's big and thick, and that's usually how I or order it at the meat market, <laughs> Mex uh, at like a Norgay market or those places where you can find these kind of. Um, I've seen it at Ralph's as well. So, anyways, what we do. We um, clean the, um, rinse the the meat, put it in a big pot, and then we add salt, one big spoon of salt, garlic powder, and two spoons of beef bouillon. We go ahead and start cooking our meat for two hours, and we go ahead and keep removing the, the little, um, what is it, maybe like a foamy blood that comes to the top. We keep removing that. As, as consistently as it's cooking. And in the interim, we start preparing our vegetables. I have like six uh, potatoes. I don't like to remove my skin. I do rinse them. I think the skin has a lot of nutrients on the potatoes. Then I get about four sticks of, um, let's see, what do we have here? Okay, oh, I'm sorry. I have the carrots. I have about six carrots. We peel them and we, um, we go ahead and, and dice them up. And then I usually like thicker ones, but they didn't have any at the store. So I ended up getting these ones. And then we also do, let me see, celery. Four sticks of celery. We dice those two, not so small. Because if you do it too small, they're going to be, you know, um, they fall apart. So then we're going to go ahead and cut half a cabbage. We're going to go ahead and have some corn. We remove the the corn husk and we cut them up in in sections so we add our potatoes and our corn to the uh soup or to the broth and we let that cook with the meat because those are they take longer it's it's already the then we go ahead and get some cilantro some fresh cilantro and lastly we go ahead and cut some lemon some key limes they're my favorite this is where we're gonna squeeze in our soup and then after about two and a half hours we turn off the heat and we add our cabbage and our cilantro there's no need to have the the broth or the soup uh, heating up anymore everything's been cooked and then we just have a, a salsa molcajete salsa that's homemade we'll have our key lime ready we'll have some spanish rice and then we have a big bowl of cocido of beef soup um you get your corn tortillas and you are set if you would like eliminate much better it's a good delicious healthy meal especially for a cold or a uh, rainy day or a snow day it's um your house will be so smelling delicious and um, i highly recommend it so hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you next time lulu la vida